to be deployed in the area. Their week, Easter weekend rather, was marred by a resurgence of gang violence that claimed lives. They took to the streets today, calling for an end to the bloodbath. There's been a spate of shootings in recent weeks believed to be gang-ordered hits. I think the drug lords are fighting for territory. There have been several shootings in the past three months. I heard the gunshots. The motive for the killing is still unknown. In just two weeks, seven people shot and killed. This family saw their son take his last breath. 20-year-old Chestin Vitboy was shot at the front door. Bullet holes, a reminder of the bloody gang war. They, they didn't talk nothing, they just only shots. He was just laying there. He didn't have a chance to say, Mom, I was shot. It was instant death. But the killing spree didn't end there. They shot my son, and after the son, there's other part. The body's laying that side. 10 or 20 minutes, then there's other uh, Muslim guys also shot. The Peterson family is also mourning. We heard like four to five gunshots. Lincoln Peterson was shot at this stadium last Monday. My brother died right in front of my eyes. Somebody that, that didn't steal from these people, whoever they are. Somebody that didn't do anything, that didn't even carry a gun once. Just a stone's throw away. The Wilson family is preparing for a funeral. Because we don't know why. 32-year-old Lincoln Wilson went missing several weeks ago. His body was found in a felt on Tuesday with a bullet hole to his head. It hurts. It's very painful. Why and who did this to him? Especially the thing that they wrap him in a blanket and go dump him. That hurts the most like a dog. Residents say these streets are a battleground for drug gangs. They shoot at each other in broad daylight. Walking these streets is a risk that could be lethal. The body count is rising, but the narrative is the same, that police aren't doing enough to curb the killings. It's all good and well pointing fingers, but when statements are to be made, nobody wants to come forward. So we have either coward members of the community that see what's happening and they, until it happens with their families, then they want to take control. They must come forward, report the incidents, because uh, without uh, reporting, we won't know all those incidents. No after killers! No after killers! Again, another desperate plea for an end to the bloodbath. But for these families, it's too late and the pain is unbearable. Mangobam Tunu, SAPC News, Westbury in Johannesburg.